As the hiring crisis worsens, what next for the UK care home sector? With one in four care home workers poised to leave their jobs in the next 12 months, the hiring crisis in the sector is only getting worse. The problem is already starting to spill over into the public sector with hospital beds blocked by infirm patients left with nowhere to go. Amid an acute cost of living crisis and near full employment in the UK, workers are telling their employers they simply cannot subsist on the wages and offer in the sector. The issue has been exacerbated by the post-Brexit reduction in the available workforce in the UK. As a result, the sector now faces a supply and demand reckoning. On average, care home workers are paid 9 50 an hour, usually on a zero hours contract basis. Meanwhile, Amazon offers £11.50 day shift rate for new starters with zero experience and that's rising to £22 per hour at an overtime rate. Can the industry really afford to continue offering such pay rates to attract and retain staff to do this difficult, often emotional work for society's most vulnerable people? Or do they risk turning patients away and suffering a reduction in their long-term income? The picture is now being further complicated by pressures exerted on the margins of the UK's leading care home providers by a formidable and all too familiar foe. COVID-19 has again started to appear on the evening news as we move into winter and fears of another wave hitting the UK care sector. Will this depress margins in the sector into the early months of 2023 and delay difficult pay decisions that really cannot wait? Plimsoll's latest analysis of the care home market suggests the sector certainly has the capacity to absorb the required increase in wage costs. Margins across the market are averaging nearly 10% and values of operators have jumped 4% in the latest year. The latter measure compares to a UK average increase in company values of just 2%. Within the industry, there is a growing divide in valuation performance based on size. The 10 largest care home operators in the UK saw their average values fall by 11%. Meanwhile, companies outside of the top 10 saw average values up by almost 6%. According to the latest Plimsoll analysis, average company values across the care homes market have risen in the latest year by 4%, and that's double what the figure was in the previous year. However, there is serious demand for higher wage costs. How much margin will companies be willing to sacrifice to retain staff in 2023? Care home operators make strong profits have enjoyed strong recovery from the pandemic. But how do they compare to other care providers catering for the elderly and the infirm? Living care providers have seen values rise by 33%. Hospice care providers, values are up by 65%. Home care providers, values are up 17%. Britain's growing population of over 65s is driving unprecedented demand on the care home sector. However, with Europeans having gone home and the indigenous population enjoying a choice of better paying, lower stress employment options, there appears to be a stark choice for the care sector. Pay better wages or face a staffing crisis that could bring the whole industry to its knees. To help our listeners make sense of some of the impact, we are offering a free insight report looking at business value trends across the care sector. For a free copy of this latest insight report, please click on the link below or email me at c.evans at and I'll get that sent across to you immediately.